everyone, welcome to Naughty Lily's Crochet. Today I want to teach you how to do the basic chain stitch in crochet. This is just the very beginnings of crochet. Um, everyone's going to have to start here. So I'm also going to teach you how to do the slip knot and how to hold your yarn in your hook. Okay, so you have to have a slip knot on your hook. So I am using um, red heart super saver yarn. Um, this is just a very basic um, uh, not too expensive yarn and then I am using a size 5 hook okay 5 millimeter hook and this is my favorite 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 brand this is tulip brand and um, I just really love it the way that it flows through um, the yarn it glides really easily and I had some hand problems before after doing crochet and this really helped um, so as a beginner I have posted some links to some beginner kits if you're not quite sure you know you can go ahead and just get a beginner kit it's really all those hooks are fine for beginners it takes a while to find out what um, you prefer and what you like so you might need to try out different hooks to see what you like there's ones that have more of the the rubbery handle there's the metal ones there's plastic ones so i had to try a few before i found the one i like the most um these are a little bit more on the spendy side but to me they are super worth it because i do a ton of crocheting so um don't feel bad just getting a basic kit just to start an uh, inexpensive kit would be perfectly fine just to start out with okay so I'm going to start by teaching how to do a slip knot on your hook. If you know another way how to do a slip knot, perfectly fine. You can go ahead and do it that way. So I'm just going to teach you um, a couple of ways to do it, okay? So this way is the way that I learned first somehow. I don't really know why, but it just worked out for me, okay? So you're going to hold the yarn in your right hand with the tail. We call this the tail end um, on this side, okay? So you're going to hold it in your right hand your left hand that is if you are left or right handed okay so you can switch this if you need to do if you are left handed but I'm going to hold it in my right hand and let uh, the end hang on my left hand like this okay so the end is hanging down and go around we're going to cross right here and then go all the way around and just kind of hold it okay so um we are going to go under this one, grab the one on the left, kind of flip my hands over, and then gently get our hands out of here. And we're going to pull, you can pull on both ends, or you can just pull on the long end, which is your working yarn. Okay, your working yarn is what is attached to your ball of yarn. Okay, so how to hold the hook okay so how i hold the hook is what we call a knife hold so you can see on the hook there's like this flat part here okay so i put my thumb here and i'm going to do the knife hold okay there are other people that hold it this way more like a pencil okay whichever way works for you is perfectly fine i hold mine like a knife so i'm going to hold it like a knife and then i'm going to show you how to put it on your hand okay so the way that I hold it, the um, just basic kind of way here, I think, is to take that working yarn. You're going to grab it with your three fingers and hold on to it, okay? Then you're going to grab your pointer finger and you are going to go behind the yarn and wrap it around your finger. And then we are going to grab our middle finger and our thumb and grab the knot that is under um, the hook here, okay? So grab your slip knot. All right. So I'll show you that again, just so you can get the hang of it here. I grab it with my three fingers like this. Hold on. Take my pointer finger. Okay. Go behind it and wrap it. Then we have to hold on to the knot. So we grab our uh, middle finger and our thumb and we grab onto the knot here. Okay. So um, this can be just like a basic beginner hold um, if you feel like you need more tension. So tension is you feel like your yarn is too loose or it, um, well, with too loose, you would do it. You could do something different. Okay. So if it's feeling too loose, um, you just need a better hold. The other thing that I do, but you don't have to try right away. If you, you know, are just starting out, I know it's a lot of hand movements, um, and just like hand eye coordination. There's just so much going on multitasking, I guess you would call it. Um, so what you can do 
is um, I just wrap it around my pinky first and then do everything I already showed you. So grab it with my three fingers, hold on, point my finger, go around, okay? And then grab with my middle finger and my thumb. So this finger, your pointer finger, um, is mostly always going to be pointed, okay? Because what that does is it holds this yarn tight. And this is the yarn that you are going to be grabbing with your hook, okay? So try to remember to keep it pointed. And like I said, it's hard to get all of these um, finger positions correct, so just take your time, okay? So to do our beginning chain, we want to make sure that this is not too tight, okay? So to make it not too tight, you can go ahead and tug on it. So you tug on your hook like this and um, you would kind of let go with your fingers a little bit, okay? So just tug down a little bit, make sure you have some room. Then you are going to go in front of the yarn and then go behind and grab the yarn, okay? So what I do is I go to the left or if you are left-handed, you would be going to the right. So you're gonna go to the left Go behind the yarn, grab it, and then you're going to use a bit of wrist movement, okay, with the one that is holding the hook. So we don't want to go down like this because it's, it's a little hard to get it in. So we would twist it and point it down towards our knot, okay? All right, so that's one chain made right here, okay? And now we have another loop on our hook still. So we just keep doing this to make your chain. So... Go to the left, wrap around, kind of twist to go down here, okay? Get a little closer so you can see. Left, go behind. We're going to twist a little bit, point down, and pull it through. So each time, so now we have three. We have one, two, three. Do that again. Left. Grab it, pull it down. All right, and so then your fingers, eventually, you know, you, you're making a longer chain. Your fingers are going to end up falling down here. So every once in a while, I just move them up to get a better hold on my work. So if we're way down here, sometimes it can be kind of hard. I mean, it's okay for a minute, but once it starts getting long, it starts getting kind of harder to... Um, to reach everything and to keep control of everything. So when you've done a few, you can move your fingers back up here and get a tighter grip on your yarn. So we'll do that just a couple more times, okay? How about I show you from here? So we're going to grab our yarn, point your finger, go around, and then hold, okay? Grab your yarn, pull it through. Go in front, grab it, twist, pull it through. Go in front, grab it, twist, pull it through. Go in front, grab it, twist, pull it through. Okay, so once um, you get enough chains, if you want, um, what I did with my kids and my students, just to have them say, oh, look, I made something, you know, is cut this and you can make it a little bracelet or a little necklace whatever you want so i'll show you how to cut that off okay and to fasten it off is what we call it okay so basically you just leave a long tail here so that you can tie cut this now you can either um, take this and put it through the loop and pull or if you still had your hook you would just go like you're doing another chain. You're basically just pulling this through and fastening it off, okay? Just like that. All right, so you can see here we have nice, even chain stitches, okay? So to identify the chain so that you know what that is, they're little Vs, okay? So we have a, let's see if I can get it in the right position. You have a V here. We have a V here. We have a V here. Okay. And here. So this one is one stitch, two stitch or chain. So one stitch, uh, chain, two chain, three chain, four chain, five chain that you can see. 
Okay, so it's just the V stitch that you'll see. You have a loop on the top and a loop on the bottom. Now, if you were to turn this around, this is technically the wrong side, you would see a loop or a bump going down each. Okay? All right. So um, the other way to do a slip stitch that I did not show you, not a slip stitch, a slip knot on your hook is to... Take this yarn, dangle it over your finger, go around, around until you have the end dangling just like the other one here. You can grab it off of your finger carefully here, still holding it on the top, switch it kind of to the other hand. Now it's in front, we want to take it behind, this longer one, take it behind, poke it through and just grab just that loop and then you pull on those two loops again, okay? And then you can pull on the long one to get it tighter on your hook. All right. So that's another way that you can do a slip knot. Um, if that way works better for you, that's fine. There might be other ways that you find, and that is okay too. So I would just um, encourage that you practice, practice, practice your chains, okay? Doesn't matter. Just try to get them um, very uniform here, okay? So let me put this back on here and show you kind of what I mean. All right, so we don't want to have big, huge loops like this, and we're going through that. You made this very big chain. Um, there's different size hooks for that, and so you want to be doing um, the chain that is matching your hook. So it's not supposed to be super large there. It's supposed to be just nicely on your hook like this, and just have some nice tension to keep it that way, okay? So you don't want it huge like this. When you are starting out, you might have some crazy huge ones and some really tight ones. And don't be discouraged by that. Just keep practicing, okay? So if it feels super tight and you just cannot get it through here, um, what you need to do is grab more yarn. So pull up with your hook, okay? Like this. It'll kind of make your finger go like that. And then you need to let go a little bit with these fingers, okay? Just so that the yarn can slide from the ball of yarn through your fingers. Okay, so if it feels too tight, work on letting that go a little bit and then pulling down like this. Okay, so I think that is all I have for you today. Um, I hope this helps you and um, I just encourage you, like I said, to keep practicing and practicing. And if you have any questions, you can put those in the comments. Um, I'd love for you to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel to see more.